Okay, so today we are going to learn how to be better at fighting without actually having to fight. So this is, hi puppy. Oh, look at the haircut. Oh, you're so good. Pablo, tu tienes cocaine? No, D different Pablo. Okay. Um, so we're gonna do a bag workout. That, that's, that's the trick here. Um, bags are great to work on hand speed and to work on power. Uh, and while we have some you know, Shane strikes some, Rob and Brandon are pretty new to this. Uh, it'll be kind of elementary in how we're gonna progress this. So if we reference the board behind us, bah! we're uh, Pablo's over here trying to sell me drugs. Uh, we're gonna start with shadow boxing just to warm up. Then we're gonna do a head movement drill. And then here are our rounds. We, these rounds are dictated by the bag that you are on. So this is gonna be awesome. This bag right here, total flow kickboxing, right? We get on here, maybe we'll be like, do some combos, finishing with kicks, some elbows, some spinning stuff, you know? Bah, some knees, just, just have fun, because I got a big old bag. Then we move over to this bag. Look at this guy. Uh, so each of these bags is kind of dictating what I'm gonna be doing to it. So this, this is awesome for uppercuts. Bah, bah, wow, hooks, sweet. So we're gonna focus on those movements with that bag. This bag, ooh. It's nice and swingy. So I'm gonna work on my timing and just my boxing. This bag, everything kind of like settles down to the bottom. So it's like, tienes mas basura en a baul. Has a bunch of junk in the trunk. You know what I'm saying? Gets heavy down to the bottom. That means there's trash in the back. Anyway. And last is this cool penguin looking bowling pin. You see these striking locations on this. This is gonna be for, for elbows, for knees, spinning knees, spinning elbows, lots of, I don't even know what a spinning knee is. Let's try that. Let's try the other way. No, it doesn't really work. Some jumping knees. That's this back. So we're gonna do three rounds rotating through those. We're gonna focus on a couple of very basic punching combinations and then it's gonna get a workout in. Bah, bah, shit, why don't you cut that man bun already? Click on him, ball headed dude. Yeah. I'm like, why don't you grow some hair, ball bastard? <laughs> no. I, didn't, I say it to Tim, because I, like, I want to be like, this is what I would have said. I want ACDC, I want Queen. Shane, I'm covering my band because I'm just sick of people asking about it. What's it called when, when rat tails get caught up in each other from like feces and... Oh, it's a death. Rat king! That's rat it, king, a rat yeah. king. This is like what's happened here. Have you seen that? It's this phenomenon where rats that like live communally, um, like their, their tails get tangled. And you I mean, the biggest rat king was in New York and it had like 30 or 40 rats all connected to each other. Their tails all like, like they look like this. You know, and they all die because, like, they can't go anywhere. Well, they can't get enough food to feed 30 rats. Yeah. And as as the group gets bigger, it gets. Eventually, more... there's just one that eats the rest of them. Probably. Google no. it. It's frightening. It's the thing of night nightmares. Like, imagine if you saw a rat a rat king moving at you. Like, there's 25 rats. Like, and they're all like gnarly, just trying to come. They're like, all you want to do is eat your leftovers. So that's 36 minutes of bag work. That's after we warm up. <clears throat> so then I think I need to go get you coffee and lunch. Mm -hmm. Maybe back rub. Go ahead. Here we go. Shadow box. Any punches like this? No, you should keep your hands in your face. Definitely. I had some people ask, I wouldn't even say ask, they complained about American flag patterns that I wear from time to time. For example, 
my American flag gloves, my American flag shorts. Now, the code says taking an American flag and making it close. So that is mean taking that American flag right there that we have that we have beautifully hanging, gorgeous on the wall right there, taking that and cutting that into a pair of shorts. That would be a travesty, that would be horrendous, that would be detestable, and I will find you, and I will take your face, and I will wear your skin as a birthday suit. But this, this is some patriotic awesome shit. Be able to distinguish the difference. Go America. Yeah, you know, intent. like, it, yeah, in, in, intent of why you're wearing America. If you're wearing the flag pattern, because like, yeah, go America. I think everybody's on the same page here. But if you're like, I'm gonna wear this, maybe yeah, rub some poop on it, we'll you're right there. Three rounds. One round in each bag. Tired? So, uh, jab, cross hook, great combo. Jab, leave hand, one. Two, rear hand cross, straight. Three, lead hand hook. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bring each hand all the way back to your face. Our bowling, our bowling bag here. Oh, so we got these targets right here, so it's fun to, to work face high to try to hit low. So liver on this side. So I'll face high, load up for that body shot. Straight cross to the body, then going high. So that's a two to the body, three to the head. Kind of a lipping, leaping tomahawk three. That scared you a little bit. I saw you flinch. You all right? You all right? It's just a punch. It's just a punch, Doug. Spinning stuff. This is fun because you get to pick on, you get to mess with the angles, right? Kind of leaning forward. I'm going to do an arcing over right elbow. Nice. If you look right here, this right here. You see that sweat? That's the money shot of the tip of the elbow. Just contact. Boom. Because that's what the bone is. The bone's what does the damage. All right, back to work. All right, so I'm gonna double pump this jab. Jab. Then I'm gonna step across. I'm gonna throw this right hand. I'm gonna fake the right hand through a spinning elbow. Fun banana bag right here. You get to do round kicks. Round kicks are fun, um, but they're also really tired. So I'm just gonna do a one-two switch kick. So one, two, I'm gonna step with my rear leg forward to open up my hips to the bag, and then I'm gonna throw my, what was my front leg, which is now kind of neutral leg as that front kick. One, two, switch, kick. One, two, switch, kick. One, two, switch, kick. One, two, switch, kick. One, two, we're gonna one-two head kick. Look at our sweat line from my my leg right here. It's right where my face is. So that is a good height leg kick. That's a good height head kick. So just like when you're shadow boxing, you don't want to like stand and bang. You want your feet to move with the bag. So as the bag is moving, I'm away. I'm trying to keep the bag in my punching range. Punching range, right? So if I'm here, I'm gonna be there. If I'm here, I'm out of my pump, punching range. So I wanna move with the bag, making sure I'm in my pumping range. Pumping range. This bag is all about head movement, acceleration of your hand. So think Mike Tyson head movement. I didn't even want to show this because obviously I might mock, I am not Mike Tyson. So we have our parries, our slips, and our pulls. I want to fire right back after them. That's all I got. My bra's coming down. Don't post that, they'll just go, what is that thing?
That was when I took the shirt off and I just wanted to like go hard, you know? You know what I'm saying? Okay, speed. What? So I'll clean that up later, don't worry. No, no, it's fine. I know I'm going to anyways. How about that? Still hand speed and keep those hands up, up, up. All right, so we had a 10 minute EMOM. Then we did a couple of rounds of shadow boxing. And then uh, we did 12 rounds of bag work. And now we're going to cool down and um, do a little bit of core and play around on the speed bag. But um, yeah. you know, the whole point of this is to add a little bit of power when you're on bags, a little bit of footwork. And um, I mean, you, you can develop some hand speed on a bag, um, but I think like you really get the opportunity to drill head movement, footwork, and then um, put some power onto your punches. So. We like your engagements, we like your comments, but, but we need more of them. Tell us what you want, tell us what you like, tell us what kind of things you wanna see, what kind of instructional, what kind of training, what kind of cooking. Just get on there, get comment section. This is what I want, and I will give the people what they want. <laughs>